how to actually make money in this market everything is down crashing today i want to show you simple way how i use market chameleon to find trades to sell options for income this is what i'm going to show you today so let's get started with a quick disclaimer read all about it this is not a financial advice i'm not a financial advisor this is for entertainment purposes only my name is Eve, also known as finance after 40. let's get started most of you got hammered today got crushed look at this <laughs> it points at you it points at you that you lost how much 3.64 percent on the nasdaq 2.31 percent on the s p I remember a year, not even a year ago, in November, when this was at like 450 and uh, the all-time high was 460 and there was like bet. I, I heard some podcast if, if it's going to break 460 by the end of the year or something like that. And now we went another 100 points above it, which is extra 20% since November to now, not even a year. And people are freaking out because it's down 2.5%. But... A lot of you just got in into the yield max ETF and you bought some Tesla and Tesla and all that stuff and crash. And look at all this thread. What do you do? What do you do if you just want to sell uh, options for income? First, you got to understand there are like millions of options out there. There's for options, there's discords, there's chat rooms, there's forums, there's YouTube, there's Reddit, there's so many options to choose my opinion opinion not a financial advice my opinion stick to the simple stuff stick to what works pick something that's all just you gotta you gotta you just pick something don't go and spend five hours on reddit and then another five hours on youtube and find and look at this strategy or this strategy and this guy does uh, covered calls, the other person does cash secure port, one person does spreads, and one person does the 211 and 112. All great stuff. I'm not saying they're not great stuff. All great stuff, but you gotta focus. And for me, instead of just, I don't know, looking at YouTube and all that stuff and see what to do, I like, at least at my age, over 40, to sell options for income. That's all sell options for income which options to sell is it a good deal am i getting a good deal that's the question am i getting a good deal when i sell an option am i making more income than what i should be is the answer that market chameleon answers us that's the question that market chameleon answers you gotta understand market chameleon answered the question you are getting a good deal or not a good deal on a trade that's all on, a, on income that's all so let, let me show you an example what i mean you click here sign up first of all seven days in the description link in the description active option right here those are all the options that are active and uh, every day it changes you see at the bottom I, every day in the, in, in the bottom i see like two free new tickers so this is a short qqq and this is the russell you know why it's, why it's down 2.2% today? Because uh, YouTube got flooded in the last uh, two weeks with, uh, IW, with the Russell uh, ETFs that are popping everywhere and people are saying the, the rate, the, the interest rate will go down. So all the small cap uh, will go up. Uh, keep in mind, this is an all-time high and it was 200, like 10% below where we are now, like two weeks ago something to consider when you see so much stuff popping up on youtube maybe it's time to take profit now that is something to consider just, just saying so let's get to the point let's start with apple very simple very very clever apple we got ourselves down three percent today 218 and a half i'm looking for a credit okay i'm looking for you can do all this you can search all of them you can click by any and see all this but make your life simple pick one of the two click either top free by edge okay which means top free by edge means that you get more bang for your buck you make more money by selling an option based on what you should have got paid in history it doesn't mean you will win the, the trade no one knows the future 
by just means that if you just randomly watch it on YouTube on Reddit and someone says, hey, go short upper credit spread and you don't know to write 210, 250, 220, whatever the case, and you don't know if it's a good option based on history and don't know if what you're collecting is worth what you're supposed to collect, this is where market chameleon shines. So what do we have here? Top three by edge. Look at this. Uh, by the way, implied volatility at 95% elevated. Implied volatility percentage. Okay. Earnings. Don't forget. August 1st, everyone <laughs> reports. Apple, Coinbase, Facebook, probably others. That's going to be a crazy day to, to start the month. It's going to be wild. So we have here, if you believe in Apple, the bull put spread for August 16, which is two weeks post earning. And we'll see something else. Uh, just, I'm just showing you a quick example. You sell the 220 put, you buy the 215 put, and your max profit is Apple above 220. Simple as that. If you believe that Apple by the end of August 16, which is the monthly expiration, will be above 220, which includes earning report, you can uh, do this trade and collect $210, okay? compared to $130 is what you should have collected based on history and you got a 75% chance of win rate. That's all, that's all. Make your life simple. And if you wanna go by here, top three by win rate, uh, you go here, same thing, ah, okay. So this is the 75%. Let's see if uh, we got something else. This is for the binary earning trade, August 2nd. I mean, it's for earnings, it's one day after, uh, there's no time to recover if Apple do go down. But you can play that if you want. Uh, well, let's continue. That's it. Top three by win rate, which I like to see 90%, and top three by edge. That is all it is. And if you want to go, I don't know, a little super low, super low risk but super low income, you can do for Friday, July 26. You sell the 225, you buy the 227.5, which is, I mean, two days of trading left. And then you collect 14 bucks, you know, that, that's all it is. And do 10 lots, you collect 140, and you risk a 250 times 10, 2,500 minus your income. It's something to consider some play money if you wish, 95% win rate. That's something to consider, you know. It's not a lot, but it is like 95% uh, historical win rate. What else we got? We got NVIDIA down almost 7% today, top three by win rate. Okay, we got ourselves some trade ideas. Always pay attention to this. Earning at 28th of August. So this one is August 23 before the earning. Look at this. Sell the 103 put by the 99 put. As long as Nvidia stays above 103, of course anything can happen by the expiration of uh, August 23, which is even before the earnings. You collect 78, let's call it 80 bucks, compared to, look at this, 17 dollars. That's four times more than what you should have collected if you just randomly decided to sell credit spreads on uh, NVIDIA and hope for the best. This market chameleon tells you, hey, there's a glitch in the <laughs> option trading system that everyone are using because of volatility or whatever. And you should instead, if you do this trade any other time in history, you just collect 17 bucks, but now you collect 80 bucks. 96% win rate and as long as Nvidia stays above 103, you go then you click report, okay, 24.2% potential yield, look at this trade, look at this trade, your break even is negative 10.6% from here, unbelievable, just unbelievable stuff, okay, and what else we got, this is uh, for August 2nd, again for two weeks from now, collect 10 bucks, ah, I like to collect a little more. This I might do this trade right now. I collect 80 bucks and I'm risking 103 minus 99, which is 400. So 400 minus 80, that's 320 bucks. I'm risking 320 to make 80. I do 10 lots, I collect $800 and I am risking 3,200. And as long as Nvidia stays above uh, 103, which is extra 10% from here after they went down 7%. I mean, yeah, of course it can go wrong, but anything can happen. Uh, this is uh, the same, just the, the strike is 103, 100. 
Same thing, and you collect 60 bucks instead of uh, 80, but you're risking a little less. I might do this one. This is a little less risk for only $20 less income. It's actually worth my time. So 103 minus 100, that's 300 bucks that you put on collateral minus your income, 60 bucks. So you make 60 when you're risking 240, and as long as Nvidia stays above 103, and there's no earnings, everything is, is golden. And look at this, this is like 25%, yeah, 25% uh, yield. Same thing, 10.4% away from just break even. That, that's all it is. If I do 10 lots, I collect a passive income of 600 bucks, and I'm risking uh, 2,400. That's all. If you have an IRA account, I mean, not in Robinhood because they don't allow this, but that's why I, I moved to uh, Tastyworks and they, they, their IRA is pending for me to open and switch and all that stuff. Uh, yeah, because yeah, they allow you to do credit spread and Robinhood doesn't. Something to consider. And you got Google and Amazon. Google uh, just posted. Tons of Amazon just posted. Tesla. Uh, Amazon, when do they post? Also, August 1st. So August 1st is going to be a crazy day in the market. Uh, next week, we got ourselves uh, Tesla today. So what do we got? Tesla closed at 216. Okay, let's see what we got. Top 3 by win rate. I'm just looking. 97%. Okay, that's not a lot of income. I want some income. 215, 215. Yeah, there's not. Sometimes there's no good trades. And that's okay. But it's a lot better than just randomly don't know who to follow, don't know what to do when just randomly sell options or buy options or whatever the case. Now let's see uh, quickly just the short QQQ. There's anything interesting in here? 91%. The price is $9. That is crazy. Up 10%. Okay, so that that's basically depends on the QQQ and the NASDAQ. I prefer not to touch those. I prefer to trade uh, like... The, the regular stocks, the Apples, the Nvidia, and sell options on them. Amazon, is there anything interesting in Amazon? Price 180. Okay, and this is post earning top three by win rate. Okay, 81%. Da, 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 da. I want something. Okay, maybe, maybe. 99%. What's that? Oh, that caught my eye. Uh, sell the 205 by the 210. So Amazon needs to be below 205, which is about 15% from here by August 23. So even if they go up 10% by earnings and all that, which could happen, uh, you still can collect. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I, I will probably do uh, the NVIDIA trade right now. Not right now. The market is closed. But uh, basically tomorrow, if NVIDIA stays like uh, the same around, so it should be okay to just do this once. Actually, my, once the IRA will be approved in Tastyworks, I might take this. You put 240, you collect 60. You do 10 of those, 5 of those, up to you. And if uh, the market is fine with NVIDIA, everybody loves NVIDIA and stays above 103 by a month from now, no earning risk. I mean, there's the bear market risk, but that's a different story. And anyway, uh, if you like what you see, make it simple. Find a way. There's many ways find what works for you if you want to sell uh options if you want to collect passive income there's many ways i i like the the coney yield max not saying no i like the coney yield max i started a position that's great but if i but i'm bored what do i do 30 days after i get the, the dividend i want to stay active and uh, and sell options for income to make more that's what i'm doing and that's why you need to find the platform or something that works for you Market Chameleon works for me. I hope it will work for you. If you're not a member, link in the description. Try it out for seven days and go from there. I'll see you next time.